Reese now a quarterback passing over to number eight. And he's going to make it down the sideline. Big hit. And that's going to be a touchdown. They're going to mark him in for the touchdown. And it looks like we have And we are back live, everyone. I apologize. We had some unstable connection here. And Reese is going to take on the left side, and he's going to get in the end zone. For the Southern Steam for the conversion, and that's going to bring them within two points here. As he gets in, and the Southern Steam are going to get ready to kick off. We're going to let the clock run here a little bit as we are one minute behind. We're going to get that to catch up. I apologize to all you fans out there at home watching us today. And they have not, if I'm not mistaken, that was a one point conversion. And if the Sillian drops straight down, and they're going to mark that play dead. And they're not, they did not award him the point for the conversion. As you can see on the scoreboard there. So we're going to go down one point. And we're going to leave it at 15 and 18. So they make it official there on the scoreboard in the background. man in motion for the Empire. Deep pass, and that pass is going to be broken up. Excellent defense on the play. Now the Southern Steam. And we got an injury timeout on the field. Got a player down, looks like number 27 for the Southern Steam. We're going to take a quick break. While he's getting checked on, and we're going to hope he's okay.
And we are back, folks. He was able to walk off under his own power. I'm glad he was okay. Short pass over to the right-hand side. Breaking a couple tackles. There, just short pass on the right side. And once again, showing his quick feet in tight spaces, able to get them down to about the 15, the 10 yard line. Another quick pass to the right, big hit there. Handoff making the man miss in the backfield, but he is going to be swallowed up as he's not going to be able to get anywhere to be tackled behind the line of scrimmage. The locomotive that is the Southern Steam. They are all going to crowd that backfield and bring him down in the backfield. Third down and goal. For the Alabama Empire. Quick handoff is gonna take it itself. Nothing going there. And he's gonna fumble. And that ball is gonna be recovered by the Southern Steam. Nowhere to go. On the play, as you can see the quarterback once again. Once the quarterback makes that second turn to go back, it's always danger. And he fumbles the ball by himself there. And that's going to be quickly recovered by number 42 of the Southern Steam. And they're going to get the ball at about the 14-yard line. It's going to be first down to 10 for the Southern Steam. After that ghost force fumble there, as he wasn't exactly touched, just happened to drop the ball there on the cutback. Reese and our quarterback is going to send a man in motion. The snap's going to go through his leg. It's going to be picked up by number eight. And that ball is going to be pitched. Number 58. He's going to be immediately chopped down. And that rough patch of players. And I apologize after this instant of replay. He's going to get chopped down there. As you can see, his knee is going to wobble. Number 58 is down on the field. You see he grabs his knee after that hit on the play. And he is down on the ground. And we are going to take a quick commercial break. And I hope that he is okay. As you can see, his knee just kind of buckled in as he was hit low there. And unlike grass, that carpet is very unforgiving here in arena football. He's going to show it one more time here. It's going to get pitched here on the botch play. And right there, as you can see, kind of submarine tackle there. It's going to hit his knee as he holds on and grimaces for that. So we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back. And hopefully, he's able to walk off under his own power.
Looks like the Alabama Empire have another player. Quick reverse here to the wide receiver. A lot more trickeration with Courtney Reese and at quarterback for the Southern Steam. And as you can see here, we're about 30 seconds behind the actual game clock. So hopefully the stoppage in the action so we can let that clock catch up there. Or if not, we will reset it during the halftime. Ex extra blocker instead of a running back and it looks like we got a flag on the play here I'm going to false start on the offense and that is going to back them up and speaking of a stoppage unfortunately it is a penalty for the Southern Steam but allow us to catch up on the game clock here So now we are only about 20 seconds behind the actual game clock here on the scoreboard. And as I was saying, you have an extra blocker in instead of a running back in for number three at quarterback. Should allow us some more time to throw. Quick pass out to number eight. He's going to make a man miss. But he's not going to get brought down until after he gets the first down. And the Southern Steam keep on chugging along here on this drive. We're going to get this. And the quarterback, the referee, excuse me, <laughs> signal for the two minute warning, thinking of traditional football. But in arena football, there is a one minute warning and not a two minute warning. So the clock is going to roll instead. Man in motion. Reese. And the pressure, and that ball is going to be caught. First down, but we got a face mask because we got flags flying from everywhere on the field and that is presumably arguably going to be a face mask if you see all the refs throwing the flags there was it a face mask on the play as you can see he just grabbed right there on the face mask trying to do anything to bring him down it's going to result in the penalty that's an actual very dangerous play as when you grab the face mask you're actually contorting the player's neck in disregard to their body. So it's actually a very dangerous play there. So it results in a lot of penalty yardage. And that's going to give them first down at the five yard line. One minute, just under one minute and 30 seconds here to go left and a half. Man in motion. He's going to hand the ball off, but he's not going to get nowhere or anywhere. It's going to be tackled right down at the line of scrimmage as we get ready for the official one-minute warning here in arena football.
And we are back. One minute left on the clock here in the first half. I said a one minute warning. Savannah Steam, Southern Steam starting off with a man deep. On the line of scrimmage, he's going to go in motion. Quarterback making a man miss. Looks like he's going to take it himself, and he's going to get in. That's going to be touched down for the Southern Steam. Standing back in the pocket, looking for something. Nothing available. Short yardage. He's going to make a man miss, and he's just going to see green grass in front of him, and he's going to trust his abilities to make it into the end zone. And that's going to be six more points for the Southern Steam, and they're going to be up here by three as they get ready for the conversion attempt. Reese is still looking for somebody to find out, able to find somebody. He's going to throw that up. Almost completed there. Yeah, that conversion is going to be no good. And they're going to get ready to kick off with 52 seconds left here in the first half of action in EIF football, elite indoor football action here. You got to admit, for Southern Steam fans, this has got to be a lot greater feeling than the last game. Because at the end of the first quarter, they were already down by almost 20 points. Over 20 points. Whistle is blown. Kicker with the pooch kick here. Gonna take it off the wall. Late pickup there. Gonna pick up by the 10 yard line. The steam there just swallowing them up there at the 10 yard line. He got 39 seconds left on the clock. We let that clock run, but that call is going to be complete. And that's going to be a touchdown for the Empire on the play. No flags on the field. Deep pass there. So they're going to get ready for the conversion attempt. He just went up and got that ball. They trusted their man to make a play, and he made a play for them at the end of the half to make sure they maintain the lead. Get a flag on the field. Let's go, let's go, let's go, 
And that is going to back them up. We got a chant here for the Southern Steam. Got a couple of kids on the sideline. 31 seconds left here in the half. Empire going for the conversion here. And that is going to be caught. And you can add one more point to the Empire's total. Make score 21 25 here right before. The half, are they going to mark that as a two? I'm going to give them 26 points here. And the kick is off here. We're going to kick it to the side. It's going to be picked up by number eight. Making a couple people miss. We're going to get a toss back to the big man. And he's only going to get a couple yards there. Right here. We're going to stop the clock at 18. As the scoreboard is at 17.8 seconds. And let's see if the Southern Steam have a player or two up their sleeve to be able to retake the lead here before the end of the first half. Man in motion in the backfield for Reese. Ball is snapped, and he's going to take the ball himself, making a man or two miss, and he's running. And he's going to make it all the way into the end zone. Reese. And we got a man down on the field. Oh, Josh, we're going to show that replay. Reese making it happen. And they're going to mark him short. No touchdown. Yeah, 5.8 seconds on the scoreboard. And they're going to mark him down at the six yard line here. Five point eight seconds left. You got a feeling this is it here. Reese in the back, but he's going to throw the ball up, and that pass is going to be caught. Looks like before the end of the half, rocking the baby. There is one of the players as he's just going to go up and get that pass in the back of the end zone touchdown. Southern Steam as the time runs out in the first half, and the competition here during this game is amazing. You can tell they're excited. A lot better feeling than last game as they line up here with zeros on the clock. Let's try to extend their lead to two. It's a go up, and they're going to get the ball here. 
in the first half, you gotta in the second half, you gotta remember they kick the ball off at the beginning of the game, so they're they're going up with the lead. They're gonna get an opportunity here to score back to back. Reese making a man or two miss. He's gonna get in, but we got flags on the field. Holding on the offense. And that's gonna back them up, so that's gonna negate that score. So they're gonna get looks like they're gonna get a retry here. And that's going to back him up five yards. Man falling at the beginning of the game. Reese backing up deep in his own territory, and he's not going to be able to get away. He's going to toss it short. And that's going to be the end of the first half. Southern Steen up 27. Alabama Empire 26, and we'll be right back.
We are back at the start of the third quarter here. Alabama Empire getting ready to kick off to the Southern Steam. Reese on the return. Coming down the wall there, going out to the left hand side. Great return by Reese. And to start off the second half, he's going to make his way down the sideline there. Sticking with the same formation they found at the beginning of at the end of the second quarter. Let's the ball off. We got a flag on the field there. Holding on the offense. So that's going to back them up a couple of yards here. Quick pass, wide receiver. Start off at quarterback at the beginning of the game, and he's not going to get anywhere. A little action here between the two players. Got a flag on the field already. Reese is going to run into the wall there. Penalty on the defense.
over and over the down and distance here. That's a personal foul on the defense. Off by Reese, ball's gonna be short, and they're gonna say it hit the carpet. Before the wide receiver's hands there, they're gonna mark that ball incomplete. Taking himself, making a man or two miss there. Spinning out of a move, refusing to go down. Reese there. Just making the moves all by himself. A longer replay of Reese there. Making plays. Gonna make a man miss there. Put a little spin move. Just gonna slip a man there. To gain some big yardage. Now apparently there was an unsportsmanlike penalty, and the Southern team thought they had a first down, a new set of downs. So they had it marked as first, but then they took away it down. It is now fourth down. For well, the Southern Steam, Reese is going to try to take it himself. It looks like he's going to stumble. Almost fumble there. He's going to stumble. I don't know exactly what happened on the play. If you look, he's just going to take a stumble there. Maybe he trips on his own feet. He might have had a chance there, but instead, it's going to be turned over on downs. It's going to be first down for the Alabama Empire. Byers gonna head out to the middle, straight up the middle. You know again, and he's not gonna be tackled. He's not going down. He's running. That's gonna be a long touchdown for the Alabama Empire. That's gonna be a straight handoff up the middle. As you can see the burst, it's gonna slip the defender there in the hole, make a man miss. One cut back. I'm gonna run a man over. It's going to be Damarell. They're not able to bring him down. And then it's just green carpet there into the end zone there to put them up by five here. Oh, 
quarterback rolls out to the right hand side. He's going to toss that high up. And that's going to be marked incomplete. Your score is going to remain 27 32. They let the clock roll there after that touchdown. So we're just going to let ours run down to 801. We got 801. Pick off and he's going to drive back to take that and he's going to leave it in the end zone as a touchback. He's not going to pick that ball up. First and 10 here for the Southern Sea. New man at center. Fourth pass over to number nine. He hit against the wall. Scrum out of the pocket. Completed pass number nine. He's going to make a man miss. Good play. Where the eight, the tacklers, and throw the ball while scrambling. It's a new set of downs for the Southern Steam. Come around in the back, but he's just gonna get right back to the line of scrimmage there. Second down and ten. He still got the ability to get a first down without getting into the end zone here.
Looks like we got a flag on the field here. Wait for the official call from the White Hat. It's going to be a penalty. Look at the market has a false start on the offense. Back them up there. We also got a sideline warning from one of the Southern State players sitting on the wall. Looking down at about 13 here. Reese in another man in motion. Drives back in the pocket. Deep pass to the corner of the end zone there. And that pass is going to be picked off. That pass is going to be picked up in the corner of the end zone. That is going to be Alabama Empire football. You can see Reese. It looks like he started a little bit at the beginning of that pass. Like he second guessed it. And it's just going to be intercepted jump ball in the corner of the end zone. And the Alabama Empire is going to take over on the ball. So once again, we're going to show you that replay and see if we look. Uh, Reese at the start of the play, he look when he throws the football. Just, just take a look. It looks like he he stuttered mid throw motion, and that might have been the difference between a completed pass and an interception there. Right now, the results yield first and ten for the Southern School. I mean, for the Alabama Empire, Quarter is going to take the ball himself. Not able to make it a move, to move on a man. It's going to be taken out about the 15-yard line. And we're about 20 seconds behind the actual scoreboard here. Hand off to the running back here for the long test I ran. And he's bumbling and stumbling, making a couple of men miss. And he's going to be taken down after getting the first down, another set of downs. They're going to switch from the quick footed back to the heavy hitter here in the second half. You can hear the chants here from the kids here in the arena. Drop back pass. Quarterback's going to launch the ball there, and it's going to be overthrown. It's going to be an incomplete pass here to bring up second and ten. And a motion for the Empire. We're going to hand it out to the running back again, but this time he's going to be taken down in the backfield. Nothing going there. Quick substitution here on third down. 
you're going to penetrate there. Man, I'm marking my sides as he was able to get in that backfield. That's going to bring out fourth down and complete pass. And seven was able to get straight into the backfield. Fourth down as the clock winds down here in the third quarter, and that pass is going to be incomplete. It's going to be a turnover on downs. 35 seconds left here in the third quarter. Back in the pocket, scrambling around again. It looks like he's going to take the ball himself. Running around. Oh, it's from the left to the right side of the field. He's going to be tackled down into the wall. As time runs out, as you can see the wrist running around with his legs. They're trying to hurry up and get set here on the ball before the end of the quarter. And it doesn't look like they're going to be able to get it off. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter. And they're going to go into the fourth quarter. Down five points here. At the start of the fourth quarter, Southern Steam knocking on the door. Down five points to start the fourth quarter. And they already started rolling the clock here at the beginning. Man in motion for the Southern Steam. Reese back in the pocket looking for a man. For man, he finds somebody in the corner of the end zone. And that pass is going to be incomplete. Touchdown for the Southern Steam. So great blocking by the Southern Steam Reese buying his time. And he's going to find the man in the back corner of the end zone. And that pass is going to be complete. And they're going to take the lead here, 33. 32 as they line up for the conversion attempt. Man in motion, Reese looking for Rome, swarmed in the backfield after a play, a good block, and he's going to get free, still scrambling around, but he's not going to be able to make it out of that one.
short kick here. Gonna live with a short return. We got a strategy here, but they're not being able to take him down. And he's gonna run straight into the end zone. The plan for the short kick there not working out well for the Southern Steam. As you can see, he is just gonna kick it short. But they're not going to take the man down. Usually the plan here is when you're kicking short is to try to get to the returner and get a big hit on him so you could possibly force a fumble. Instead, they kick it short and cover the ball. They don't get there down there quick enough, but they never actually get their hands around him. He breaks a couple of tackles and into the end zone. He goes six more points for the Alabama Empire. This is going to be 38-33 as they line up here. For the conversion attempt. Quarterback's going to keep it himself. He's going to take a big hit. And they're going to mark him down. Quarterback still down on the play, asking for help up. I'm not going to mark him short of the line again. Your score is going to remain 38-33. So I thought he got in there. He's got a little bit of a kerfuffle going on down there on the field between the guys. Walk it off here. Empire get ready to kick off, maintaining their five point lead after that sport. Short kick is going to be returned on number nine. Empire following the same plan, but this time he's going to be stopped. He wasn't brought down, but they were going to stop, they stop his forward progress. And look for Southern Steam. Now one of the Alabama Empire returners to get into the end zone there. With just under nine and a half minutes stuck here in the fourth quarter, down by five. Points to Southern Steam hop on the field again. Try to take the lead. Exchange of points here. Pass on the right side. It's going to be, oh, it's going to be tipped. And once that pass intercepted, it looked like it was going to be intercepted. And it looks like they are going to mark that pass incomplete. Then we got a player down on the field for the Southern Steam. We're going to allow our clock to catch up here. After the collision, then we got two players down on the field, actually. Well, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back.
still down on the field, just being able to get up here. And we're going to take another look, see if we can get a view of what happened there. I don't know. We're going to have the replay of that collision there. He's down on the field for a while, but he's up now walking around. And that could only be a good sign as we get ready to roll the clock here. And just under eight and a half minutes here left in the fourth quarter. Southerstein walking up to the line. Back in the pocket, short pass. Not going to get anywhere. I'm going to mark that pass as incomplete. Third down. Back in the gun, pass over to the left side. I'm just gonna hit the net, and that pass is gonna be incomplete. Drops back in the pocket. Reese running up to the line. He's going to throw that ball up, and that pass is going to be picked off. Running down the sideline is the Empire. I got a man in front, and he's going to run that all the way back to the end zone. Looks like we got a flag on the field here just after we show this replay. Running down the sideline there, high arcing pass to no one. And he's going to run that down into the end zone. Six more points for the Alabama Empire. And they're going to call the holder. No touchdown on the field. Drops back in the pocket. He's going to throw the ball to the sideline. That's going to be caught at the wall. Excuse me, rather. I'm going to mark that incomplete. Second down and 10. 
quick move there by the running back until to go down the left hand side. Once again, some great running by the running backs. We got some more talking. Talking going on between the two teams. But I have to say, I want to do give my hats off to the running backs of the Alabama Empire. Both running backs have been able to make some plays here. We got a lightning and thunder combination they got going here. Quarterback drops back in the pocket. He's going to hit the running back out on the side. And he's going to make a man miss. And another one. And he's going to go into the end zone as well. Another. They get the six points here this time. No flags on the field. And he's just going to make a man miss. He's just going to spin his way down the sideline. That's going to be another six points for the Alabama Empire. Got a man down here for the Southern Steam. Looks like he's okay. She's going to try to help him up here. Probably need the help of one of the players, but he's got him up. Looks like he's not swinging that left arm there. It's an indication of probably a shoulder injury. Now up 11 points here. With two minutes left in the fourth quarter, going ahead for the conversion. What is now officially a two-score game. Anything's possible, but the Southern Steam are going to have to make some plays here. They want to win this game. The quarterback's going to take it himself. Trying to get a stiff arm on the defender. That's not going to happen. This conversion tip is going to be no good. And the clock is going to keep rolling. Alabama Empire in no rush here to kick off. See, they're going to let the clock keep on taking and take their time. And they're going to have to get a return here at the minimal. They don't want any chance of winning this game here as the clock keeps on rolling. They're going to get this return now. They're going to get it fast and go for the conversion. And that's only going to get them within four. They're going to have to do it. Eight. They are going to start the clock here. At 123. After they're going to let... Clock officially stopped at 123. I feel they let about 30 seconds run off the clock there. 30 or 40, as it was over two minutes when they originally scored. Short kick. Assuming we're going to avoid Reese here. Yammer is going to pick it up and he's going to toss it back to Reese. He's going to take it down the right side. He's going to hit the wall. Not going to mark him down. One minute and 15 seconds. Smart play. Damarell there to toss it back to the playmaker, Reese. Officially one minute and 15 seconds left on the actual game clock as they get ready here. What is going to be presumably the final drive of the game?
Reese at quarterback. No extra blocker here. They got all the playmakers on the field here. Man in motion for the Southern Steam. Deep pass to the corner of the end zone, and that pass is going to be intercepted. And that looks like it's going to end the comeback dreams for the Southern Steams, and it looks like they're going to let them take this all the way back to the house, and they are going to seal the deal. Another six points. For the Alabama Empire, another pick six. Or let's say this one should actually count as there's no flags on the field here. They get ready for the extra point conversion here. And he's going to run straight down the sideline. No one in front of him. Straight green grass or turf. That's going to be six more points. For the Empire. Your score, 50 Empire, 33 Steam. Set here for the conversion. He's going to let him run around the side there, and he's going to be in. That's for 51-33. What was a close game all game. And starting to now get sealed. Low effort here by the Southern Steam. At the end of the game, a couple of their key playmakers on the side. A few injuries. Officially one minute left on the clock here. Deep kick is going to be dropped. And picked up by number five, making players miss, refusing to go down, making his way down the field. Refusing to go down, making all the plays, the pass will come to some of the plays that they needed before after originally dropping the kick. He's going to pick it up, and he's just going to keep running into defenders and spinning off. You know, to see something like that, I don't think I've really seen him with the ball all game. If I can remember correctly, he's probably someone they might have wanted to get the ball to more in this game. They wanted to have a chance. But just under a minute here left in the game, Southern Stream taking the ball. Down 18 points. 46 seconds left on the clock. Stranger things have happened. So this game is all wrapped up. This is more of a morale drive here. Low snap. Picked up by Reese off the turf. Scrambling around in the pocket. It's not going to find nothing. It's going to throw it to the back corner of the end zone. And it looks like we got another interception on the play. It's like the receiver didn't even jump for the ball. He's going to try to throw it out of the end zone. And the flag on the field to try to toss it out of the end zone. Toss it forward, and they're going to mark it as a safety. So the Southern Steam do come away with some points. On the drive, but it's not going to be nearly enough. But they are going to receive the ball again. With just under 32 seconds left. Here in the fourth quarter. The lead now 16.
pretty sure they would like we've got a touch down there. He's screaming that everyone needs to leave the field. I guess they were over the time. They're going to end the game. All that note with 30 seconds left in the game. And she just came in and yelled at everyone off the field, and the game is going to end just like that. Guess it's time to go. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Thank you for dealing with the technical difficulties. I appreciate you guys for all enjoying the game. We're going to wrap this one up. Once again, I'm 